Okay, well, um, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm really pleased to be here today to uh, talk to you about the innovation in China. Earlier this week, Treasurer Wen Swan uh, made a speech at the other ACBC event in Melbourne um, and asked the question if Australia would be on the right side of history in the Asian century. It is the question facing um, everyone as Australia becomes increasingly interdependent economically, culturally, and politically with the Asian, uh, its Asian neighbors. As Australia balances its policy settings around trade, investment, and economy, it is critical that Australia fully appreciate the growth of innovation and research output fueled by the fast development of the economy in China. Innovation will be the engine room for further development of China. As many of you uh, may have noted, that China is no longer simply the world's manufacturing hub. It is becoming a leader in uh, science and research, and is quickly catching up with other uh, development economies in terms of new patent applications and uh, development of new technologies, uh, technologies as uh, shown earlier by Dr. Clark. Um, last year, uh, China became world's top patent filer for the first time, ahead of US and Japan. ACBC's own submission to the Australia in the Asian Century white paper perfectly described the rise of China's strength in innovation. Um, China has surpassed Japan as world the second largest spender on industrial research and development and is slated to overtake US before the end of decade um, according to World Inter uh, uh, Intellectual Property Office. Huawei, as China's largest technology company, uh, was world uh, number one company for new patent applications in 2008. We have been on the top five um, patent uh, applications, uh, ap applicants uh, for the last four years. And Huawei is not alone. Uh, According to World Intellectual Property Office, there are more Chinese companies entering into the top rankings for new patent applications. Um, I don't want to go through the uh, stats and figures again um, because it will be here whole day. Um, now I'd like me to share um, some of our vision and our practice within our company in, uh, in the area of innovation. Just quickly, uh, for those of who don't know us um, well, uh, Huawei was a, is a private company. It was founded in 1988 uh, in Shenzhen, uh, in Guangdong province. Uh, in the span of uh, 24 years, uh, we have grown from uh, a few people into 140,000 employees and working out of uh, 140 countries around the world. And in the last eight years, we have achieved strong growth. Um, and our target revenue for this year is around $28, 29000000000 billion. And Huawei is now the world's second largest telecommunication solution provider. And we serve uh, one third of the world population through our uh, systems and products. And we are now working with 90% of the world top 50 uh, telcos. And there are 23 uh, research and development centers that uh, we set up. Uh, seven of them are located within China, and the rest are in Europe, North America, and Asia. Uh, when it comes to uh, innovation, uh, we really think it's about openness and collaboration because the business success of our customers depends on uh, the values our technologies uh, we bring to them, and also we need to work with them collaboratively to, uh, uh, to achieve uh, their, the, the results they expect. And innovation is really the cornerstone of our business, and uh, we have to take account of all the uh, different drivers to really uh, make it working for us. 
uh, we invest about 10% of our annual revenue uh, every year, um, and 45% uh, of our uh, employees are working in the uh, research and development area. And uh, they, we have established 34 joint innovation centers with our customers, which I will uh, talk about later on. Uh, as a technology company, we must innovate for the future. We must either uh, identify and invent uh, disruptive technologies, or we have to uh, develop new solutions for existing challenges. Uh, these are the three areas that uh, we can uh, We'll focus on our innovation uh, activities and the programs. Research, research development I talked about later on, uh, so earlier, and uh, IPR, uh, intellectual property rights management, uh, being uh, a license holder ourselves and also licensees for some of the partners, and also our contribution into uh, international standards. Uh, we have established uh, a very sophisticated uh, research development uh, processes within the company, which will take into the customer requirements into the system and translate them into solutions. And uh, we engage in three levels of research within Huawei. Um, the fundamental or basic research which look at problems and uh, issues five years into the future. And the next level is the applied research. We'll look at solutions or possible, I guess, uh, technologies for the next two or three years. And also uh, there are uh, proof of concept activities that are looking at uh, uh, near term, uh, I guess, uh, products. And uh, we have programs in place to work with all the uh, players in the industry. Uh, some of them are either uh, chipset uh, developers or system uh, uh, developers, universities, academia, uh, you know, these are different partners. And here's a list of examples that some of the projects that we've done with um, different partners in the academic uh, area uh, with Tsinghua University in, in China, uh, Southeastern China uh, University. Um, you know, there are a few projects we did with um, uh, uh, MIT, Stanford, with um, Charlton um, University in, uh, in Canada. And we, we, we were quite uh, active in uh, of some of the projects in Europe. Uh, as I said earlier, that uh, we have established uh, 34 uh, joint innovation centers, which is a key initiative that, that we uh, constantly appraised and uh, welcomed by our customers. As these projects really, uh, I guess, bring a lot of value to their business and increase their, I guess, uh, uh, capabilities. Uh, we we've done in the last like a four or five years we've done uh, several established several uh, innovation centers with Vodafone, uh, either in Spain or Italy, um, and also we are trying to, uh, I guess, um, facilitate the early adoption of technologies and also promote uh, innovation uh, outcomes. This is a typical example that uh, a project that we did uh, back in two thousand nine. Uh, with Telia Sonara uh, in Norway, uh, we helped them to uh, build and roll out the f world first commercial LTE network. And uh, since then, we have delivered another 20, maybe 30 uh, similar networks uh, from then on. So this is a typical example of how innovation can help uh, to grow uh, your business. And also we participate in all these standard activities and there are a uh, lot of collaboration, there are a lot of 
uh, I guess, uh, uh, working groups that uh, are working between those three uh, different uh, systems. And within Huawei, we have now more than 500 uh, people working uh, full time on the standard activities. And these are the standard development bodies that we either have leadership, a board member, or leadership in. And I guess these type of activities help to translate a lot of innovation into uh, industry standard and solutions. And these are the kind of the snapshot of all the uh, uh, patent granted uh, for Huawei in recent years. And we, we manage, we have an active program, manage our own IPRs as well. 